Earlier this fall, discussions were taking place about ways to better support the achievement and well-being of our black students, and the graduation coach idea was one that was raised. From there, we began working collegially with the equity, diversity, and inclusion, along with the human resources departments, to look at creating a pilot project for Bradford District High School and Nantire Shore Secondary School, which are two of our fastest growing and most diverse school communities. We connected with other boards uh, who we knew were launching similar initiatives. And through those discussions, we felt that this was a new approach that had the potential for a great impact for our local students. Our newly hired graduation coaches will work directly with our black students and with their families to support student engagement, well-being and academic success. The goal and the focus is to help enhance our black students' feelings of belonging in our schools and to ensure successful academic outcome, outcomes through credit accumulation, graduation, and ultimately positive transitions beyond secondary school. I'd like to introduce to everybody uh, Roxanne Whittingham, who is the graduation coach at Nantar Shore Secondary School and Kamara Edwards, who was our graduation coach at Bradford District High School. My name is Roxanne Whittingham, I'm the graduation coach here at Nantire Shores, and thank you for the question. Um, so my background, I have over 10 years of teaching experience. I taught mostly in Jamaica. Um, since I've been in Canada, I've worked over five years with children and youth. I'm a certified child and youth practitioner from Georgian College. I've done a lot of um, community work with youth as well. I'm always in the church um, working with youth group in different capacities. I've also worked in um, northern Quebec uh, with indigenous uh, youth, um, you know, with various challenges from, you know, whether it be suicidal issues and, you know, all variants of uh, mental health or social issues, isolation issues. Um, so most of my work here in Canada has really being around youth work. My name is Kamar Edwards. Um, I'm also a child and youth worker. I have about 15 years plus experience. Um, I worked in youth shelters, um, group homes, youth detentions, also open custody. And I, I, what I bring to, um, to this position is I'm very passionate about working with youth. Um, I always love to, you know, help students navigate through the school system mm -hmm. and providing the, the supports they need. Um, in my previous uh, mm -hmm. jobs, I, I always worked in high priority neighborhoods uh, where there were specific needs that student need. And that's where I would come in and just help them, you know, with the resource that they can get so they can be successful um, throughout high school. I would come in in the morning and you know I'll say hello to all the staff members and then I would you know start to you know walk the halls and you know look for you know certain students to see how how things are going and 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 have those conversations and and, and kind of rushing them off to, to to class and then at lunchtime they would come in a whole bunch of them will come in and, and want to connect but you know because of COVID we you know only a certain amount can come in and, you know, it's just, you know, having conversations like, how's your day going? Or, how are things look like? You know, how are things home uh, at home? And, you know, how is mom doing? How's dad doing? And, you know, having certain conversations around, you know, their their, their marks or, you know, with their grades and, and going through their status sheet and, and talking about, you know, different um, programs that, you know, they want me to implement to have um, um, during study halls. And, and, you know, just, you know, making sure that things are going well with them. I like to be in the hallways when the kids are coming in in the morning, just for them to have that constant, you know, you, you to build a relationship, you have to have that constant peace. So I get in early, put my stuff down, I make sure I'm in the hallways. I have my little scrap of uh, my little notebook and my pen. So every time I see like a new face, I would go over and, and say hello and get the student's name. And then that way I can do, you know, follow up, check up on their student status sheet, see if they're missing anything like um, 
uh, community support. Um, a lot of the students don't have volunteer hours that they need to graduate, or if they're failing in a credit, you know, uh, at least I have something to start off to, to call them to my office and we can, you know, go over that piece. So basically, you know, building that rapport, giving them that constant piece. And even from time to time, I have students who are studying online. I will send a uh, text to them, you know, how are you doing? How is your week going? Is there anything I can support you with? And just like Kamara said, you know, I had a student who sent me a text to say that their mom did a, a surgery so that's why he was falling behind in some of his grades so I follow up on that too and you know the parents are happy to know that we go above and beyond the academics and we we truly care about their well-being the, a holistic package is what we offer I'm very passionate about education and I'm also um, I'm very passionate about relationship. I like that connection piece and I always advocate for that sense of belonging because I find that when students have students have that sense of belonging, all the other pieces tend to fall into place. And when students are able to build that trust with you and, you know, like for sometime last week, I had a student that just came in my office. Um, you know, she was able to relate a story to me that I'm pretty sure that none of the staff had access to. She was, she has never shared that with anybody. And she just sat in my office and wept. Right. And, you know, we, we were able to talk through it. Right. And I have that, you know, opportunity to do follow up to say, OK, can I um, lead you to a social worker or somebody to help you to deal with that, um, deal with that um, issue that you're having? So I'm very excited about the relationship. I'm excited when, for example, a student come into my office and say, hey, I want I was told by a teacher in grade seven, not at this school, that I didn't have what it takes to become a lawyer. And after talking to her and inspiring her and motivating her to see that passion revive. And that student will say, yes, I have what it takes to become anything. So just that piece to, you know, reach out to the students, um, giving them that, uh, you know, confidence in themselves to say you can do anything you put your mind to. Right. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Every day I wake up every morning and I, and I think about the students I'm working with and just saying, thinking, what could I do more? to help so-and-so and making sure that, you know, they're getting all the support that they need. And I know going through a pandemic, you know, things are hard um, for them and and things are going on. But again, just, you know, I'm excited as have just giving them that reassurance that, you know, that you can make it through high school right. and, and believing in themselves. And when I, when I was in high school, I didn't really have someone like me, you know, me, and giving me the right advice, you know? So you know, that's my way of just really giving back to them and, and showing them that, you know what, you know, even though, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with a difficult time, things are, going, are rough, but, you know, you'll get through it, you'll be okay, I'm here for you. And it's anything that I can do for you, you know, I, I will go above and beyond. And, and again, connecting with those parents and reassuring them that I'm also here for them as well. So that, that, yeah. what, that's what I bring every day and I'm excited about every day. Mm -hmm. When we were starting the program, I was speaking to a staff member at one of the high schools, and uh, they expressed to me that they weren't really sure whether or not there was a need for anything like these positions. It's uh, the graduation coaches or any different supports required for black students. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the overall goals and, and some of the uh, experiences and uh, data that we learned from other boards. Um, and then I saw that same, same staff member about two weeks after our graduation coaches had started it. And, and they came to me and said, you know, I was, I'll totally admit I was skeptical, uh, but seeing the students that have been coming down and visiting with the grad coach and the expression on their face, and not just the connections that were obvious between the students and the grad coaches, but this staff person also reflected on the fact that they, they started to see students they had never seen before. Mm -hmm. Students who had been going to the high school for a couple of years and had never accessed some of those same resource spaces. Um, and now having the grad coaches there, it gave them a reason to be there. And it also made them feel more, more welcome, more included uh, in, in seeing themselves in that space. So that was a really powerful reflection that I, that I appreciated that that staff person shared with me.
Oh, 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 oh,